why I love the G Fund, and you should too. Now, the G Fund is just for the TSP, Thrift Savings Plan participants, so military, federal government workers, and whatnot. But uh, a lot of those people are on this channel, and I, uh, I love the G Fund. And uh, I want to go back, <laughs> go back in time and show you some of the, uh, the arrows that I took and why I was saying in the past why I love the G Fund and why I still love it now. So let's dive into it right now. All right, we're going to learn about your fund options. All right, so we're going to go to here to how to invest like individual funds. This is TSP.gov. And we're going to look at the G Fund. And sure, preservation of capital. Interesting. Right now it's up 0.44 year. I think this is as of what? I don't think it's as of yesterday. I'm not sure. What's this as? I think it's as of March. Um, March, actually. Anyway, so it's up 0.44. One year, 1.56, three, 1.45. You can see right there. I think that I don't actually know what the G fund is yielding. Maybe if my man, Chris Barfield is here or somebody could tell me what it's yielding. I don't know. Frankly, don't really care that much because it ain't yielding much. That's not the point. That's not the point. Here's the C fund, which is the S&P 500 down 4.59. Here's the I fund, the international fund. What is this date? I thought it was the last time I saw this. I thought it was the, uh, as of March 31st, but let's see. So it says G fund is up. 0.44. Let's take a look at fund performance here. Rates of return. We're going to get rid of all these. All right, right there. Hold on a second. Boink. Get ready. Get out of here. All right, so year to date. Yeah, so this isn't even including what happened last month. All right, this is just as of March. This shows March 31st. All right. The GFUN is calculated by the U.S. Treasury as a weighted average yield of approximately 181 U.S. Treasury securities on the last day of the previous month. All right. GFUN is guaranteed. You cannot lose money in the GFUN. That's why I love it. It's guaranteed. Now, there is some issue with TSP in terms of you have to do to pro, uh, pro rata. If you have the, you know 80% of the GFUN and 20% of the C fund, you want to take 100 bucks out. 80% has got to come from the G and 20% has got to come from the C. Simple way to do that, to move around, just put everything in the G and come back, put the 20% in the C, easy as pie. But, you know, it is kind of a pain. I wish they didn't do that. But anyway, all right, so let's talk about the G fund because we know for a fact, if we go to fund performance, we go to rates of return. I'm telling you, we're going to go back here. And we're going to see that the G fund not only has made money this year when everything else is getting crunched. In fact, we can actually see what the S&P 500, let's tell you what the S&P 500 year to date is. S&P 500 is down about 13% year to date. Look at that, 13%. All right, so going back, don't leave. I don't want your stupid book. I don't want your stupid research. I'm just joking. They might be good. I don't know. I don't care. All right, so this right here, the G Fund is up, what what we say, 0.45 this year. So the G Fund is up 13.5% above the S&P 500 so far year to date. Now, one year, the G Fund is up 1.94 on average. The S&P 500 is up 14.65. All right, so that's not good. Since inception, the G Fund is average 4.7. The S&P 500 is average 11.13. That's not good. Well, it's not good if we're looking for growth. It's not good if we're looking for growth. If we're looking for stability, it's freaking fantastic, my friends. Let's go to 2008. Oh, my goodness, 2008. S&P 500 down 37. S Fund down 38. International Fund down 42. Uh, G Fund up 3.75. Oh, my lands. Let's look at the uh, fixed income fund so far. Oh, my goodness. The F Fund is down 3.95 after uh, a year. Let's, let's give us a year to date on this guy. I can't, yeah, year to date. F Fund down 5.79. Uh, G Fund. Oh, look at that. So I want to look at some comments from previous commenters about the G Fund. It'll be fun. Man, Tim Becker. He said, that's a yes, yeah, safe, yes. But how many millionaires in the TSB? How many are in the G Fund? It is very safe, but look at the return for CNS funds in 2021 or since 2020 to present. Um, <laughs> I, this is what he says. I know I'm cherry picking years, but I've, I've converted two of my coworkers to the CNS funds right after Christmas passed. Oh, he just said this nine months ago. Oh, do you not? Oh, no. So he just converted. Uh, this is what nine months ago. So he just converted uh, about a year or so ago. They are extremely happy. They were 100% G Fund prior. Not saying you're wrong if you want to save the G Fund. Oh, boy. This guy says I'm 100% wrong. You can definitely beat the G Fund. I never once said you couldn't beat the G Fund. Um, hold on a second. I says G Fund is trash. My money market account pays better. All right. 
<laughs> and Jeremy, 2.2% annual return on investment is what I was getting. Just terrible. Just terrible, Jeremy. Well, not because he's Jeremy's just a young guy, man. Yeah, you don't want the G fund if you're young, for heaven's sake. But I mean, unless you want to save, but come on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did a video that G fund loses to inflation. And uh, let's see, we got my, my mistake was having all my money in the G fund for six years. Well, that, man, what? <laughs> of course, if you're young, don't. Uh, this guy says, my mistake was having him for over 20 years. Yeah. And then this guy says, what's your take on the F fund? And I'm still not a fan. If you're going to be in bonds, being something safe and guaranteed. Now, I do have Wellington as my biggest holding, so I grant you, I'm somewhat of a hypocrite. But if I have my choice of the G fund or the F fund, I'm going the G fund 100% of the time. I said, not a fan. Then this guy says, if you go to the TSP website and look at F versus G, uh, you'll see F fund wins at each interval. It's not even close. Um, I've been talking about Chris Barfield and the G fund lose to inflation. Big fan of Chris. Yep. Um, anyway. I'm not here to bash these guys. What I'm trying to say is stop looking. Oh, yeah, Tammy Flanagan. We talked about uh, Tammy Flanagan in this video. Um, let's see. TSP is at 1.56 as of April 22. We'll head up now that inflation doesn't look like I don't get what he's saying there. Um, anyway, I love the G Fund because I like it safe. I like it accessible. And I like to build a dollar cost average if I want to, if the S&P 500 is getting down. Or I just want to have access to it without getting killed um, on if I'm retired. I just love the G Fund. It's 100% guaranteed. It pays more than money markets, generally speaking. I can't guarantee that. But, man, to, to discount the G Fund, I think you're making a huge mistake. Don't cheat. Uh, when you're talking fixed income, when you're talking fixed income, it's not return you're shooting for. It's safety, man. Safety. I cannot stress this enough. We don't buy bonds for returns. We buy bonds for principal protection. And even Ginny May is down this year. I mean, I'm not worried about it at all. It'll come back. The TSP G fund is not down at all. You buy bonds for principal protection. You buy stocks for growth. You, you returns. I, I just I I don't chase returns. You got money. I want to be I want to be aggressive. Stocks. I want to be safe. G-Fund. It's just that simple. All right. Love your thoughts. We'll see you.